Got a new little winch. Here's the first things we do. Chuck the distractions away. This thing, chuck that, chuck that in the rubbish. And I'll show you what else we're gonna chuck in the rubbish. Get our Stanley. And carefully so we don't cut the rope. Cut this uh, zippy die off. Don't need that there. Get rid of that. And then, probably gonna need to put it in the free spool for a second. And pull some of this out. That moves nice and free. That's good. I like that. Right, eh? Actually, we're going to pull a little bit more out of there. Right, oh. Back in, back in the drive. First things first, we're going to get rid of this. I might need two hands here. Right, oh, this little thimble. Now, this is really good. I like this because you don't have to cut the rope or pull the splice to get this thimble out. But this bit of metal is something we don't need in our winching scenarios right so we just gonna have to just loosen the rope up a little bit there and we're gonna have to just wriggle this swage not swage thimble out from there without ruining our rope there we go we get rid of that throw that straight in the bin that's where that's going Next thing we throw in the bin is this black stuff. Rope protection. Let me tell you, it's more of a hindrance than a help. The idea is to lay the rope protection where you're gonna have the winch rope laying across a, a rock or something like that where it might cut the rope. But I'll tell you now, it's more of a hindrance than a help. You're much better off just grabbing a branch, a piece of timber of some sort. I'm having trouble getting this off. I don't know what's going on here, here we go. A piece of wood of some sort and uh, lay that under the rope where it's going over the rock. So this stuff, straighten the bin. All right. So now we've got our splice there. We didn't have to undo it because we didn't have to get rid of the um, thimble. Often they'll have a thimble that encases the rope, but it had a nice uh, easy to remove thimble. So now all we need to do is put a soft shackle on that and then we hook uh, if we need to do a recovery just hook that soft shackle straight onto an anchor point or a tree strap and we're good to go. Nice and safe, nice and light and easy to work with. No dramas at all. Now the other thing you need, need to do with a new winch, we'll have a look. Most of the time the way the synthetic rope is attached to the drum it's pretty pathetic. So we're just gonna pull all this rope off here. Bear with me for a second here. Won't take me long. Here we go. And guess what? We've got more rope protection down the bottom as well. So we'll slide that off while we're at it. And yep, as I suspected, it's just got the rope held in there with a grub screw. Now that's fine if you, oh, and the grub screw is hanging out. A little bit yeah and that's causing a little sharp point so that'll cut your rope too so that's just going to pull out of there if I if I'm pulling my rope out and all of a sudden get to the end of the rope like you're not at the drum when you're pulling the rope um, I could potentially pull that out of there pretty easy um, so I'll show you a little trick and what we can do to to make that a little bit more permanent so that it doesn't pull out of us Alright, so I've got my little Allen key. Punch that into the grub screw, and it wasn't even tight. Look at that. I mean, I can't expect much. Everything's made in China, right? But um, this is the reason I bought this winch. Is uh, for synthetic rope, you need a, a fabricated metal um, drum. A lot of these small winches you buy from eBay, that the actual quality is not too bad. The motors work well. I've had them and put them through some pretty serious abuse over many years and that they go all right. Um, the only trouble is most of them have an aluminium cast um, drum 
which is fine for steel wire rope, but because they're selling them all these days with synthetic rope, uh, synthetic rope, um, it needs to push out when it, when it takes up tension, it pushes out really hard and it just pops these cracks and pops the ends off the drum, off the cast aluminium drum. So um, I bought these specifically because they have the metal fabricated drum, which works fine for the synthetic rope. Anyway, so now I've got that grub screw out. I can just pull that rope out of there, just lock him off there in that position. And there we go. So, yeah, it's just at the end of the rope, it's just got a piece of heat shrink. And that's right, that's fine for using heat shrink on wires, but it doesn't do much for us here. That'll just pull out, um, and you'd be in the middle of a recovery and, and it's pulled out, and you've got to stuff around trying to feed it back in. So, we're going to fix it up right now. So, grub screw, straighten the bin. So the heat shrink just slips off. I literally just pulled that lightly and it came off. So that's the easy part. Chuck that in the bin, we don't need that anymore. We're gonna splice this onto the drum. Now don't be afraid, splicing ropes, synthetic dynamo rope is really easy. Uh, it's not tricky, it's something that anyone can do. So first things first, we're gonna get rid of this rope protection. We don't need that. That's more of a pain in the bum than Anything? Chuck that in the bin. All right. So now we've got our piece of rope. Now, ideally you want to taper when you do a splice, you want to taper the end. So all I'm going to do is just find it. Now it's difficult in the light with this black rope, but I'm just going to pull a few strands from down here. Doesn't really matter which ones. Just pull a few strands down there, a few a couple of inches from the end of the rope. And then we're going to go up here, make sure you do these ones first, and then you can come up here and pull a couple out here. Now, it doesn't really matter where you grab them, just pull a couple out. And, and we're just going to trim them off now. So, I'm lucky I've got a little rope cutter thing here, so I can use that. You can use a knife, and um, it, it might help if I plug it in. Oh, right, that's better. All right, so we'll just trim these off. Now you can just use a Stanley knife or something like that. Trim them off. Now it doesn't need to be neat, so you don't need to worry about getting a lighter and trimming the ends, uh, uh, making the ends neat, because we're just going to splice it inside itself. We'll just get these few up here. This is just the tail end that's going to go inside your splice, so it's not too critical, okay? Don't stress about this part of it. All right, so we've got a nice taper there, okay? Next thing you want to do, you'll see now we're starting to lose our tail end here. It's getting shorter. We just keep feeding the pen through, feed the rope onto the onto the pen, slide it up through it. This is really not that difficult. Anyone should be able to do this. All right, so now we're starting to lose that tail end, our loop. So now we can poke poke the pen out the side of the rope and pull it all the way out. Now we just need to get rid of the tape. You can just pull the pen with the tape on it. It'll slide the tape straight off. Don't need that anymore. And then you start down this end and you just get rid of that puffy rope on the outside. You pull it tight. So now there's our splice. Locked off and then tucked, tail end tucked away inside the uh, running end and tape it off nicely at the end. Beautiful. So now that is not going to come off your drum. You can pull and target that all you like. It's not going to go anywhere. That's how you set up your winch winch rope on your new new winch. I hope you got something out of it. If not, give me a thumbs down. If you did, give me a thumbs up. So cheers. See you in the next video.